Okay guys, this is my jet oil summit skillet review. Um, can't wait to try this out. Paid a lot of money for this. I think it was 50 quid. Certainly a lot more expensive than my OEX price to frying pan. Um, difference is, hopefully, um, that one doesn't stick, two, it cooks evenly. So it's a little turner and it just nests inside there. This is a ceramic pan. Bottom is just like your sort of high-end home cookware. Um, hopefully the heat's gonna go to the side, nice even cook. Right, today I will be cooking, and I'm absolutely starving. I'm gonna cook myself bake, bacon and egg sarni. So let's give this a go. Turn this on. Hardly see the flame, that's it. Let's go in. Okay, I'll, what I do, I pre oil all my pans anyway. Um, always do before I go camping. Um, if you put a bit of oil in there and you're on uneven ground, quite often it will just go to the edges. So if you pre oil them, if that does happen, at least you know you've got a bit of peace of mind that it has got a light coat and a foil there, anyways. In theory, this is ceramic, so some people don't even use oil with these, but I'll certainly give it a little bit of a coating. So let's just stick this on. Okay, right, let's put put some bacon on. Don't want to frazzle it, so I'm going to cook it slowly. Um, jet ball minimo, that's what, exactly what this is for. Got a nice low end simmer function. Um, what it's best to do if you ever cook in yourself a nice breakfast always do the bacon first um, the, the fats basically act like, um, like oil in the pan basically so always do your bacon first to be fair it's already starting to uh, starting to cook which is brilliant straight away uh, as you can see getting in a a nice bit of let's just turn this over. So far absolutely no sign of stick whatsoever, which is brilliant. I should say does weigh 300 grams, which is considerably more than a, a, a lot of skillets and frying pans. Um, but to be fair, you're never going to get the base that this has got for you know 150, 160 grams like some of them are. You're never going to get that base, and also the thickness of the walls as well. Um, it's a trade-off. If, if if you if you like me, you like your cookery. Um, you definitely go in to put up with that extra 100, 150 grams in your in your backpack, um, knowing full well, um, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you can have a, a nice cooked breakfast. Okay, let's have a let's have a go at cracking an egg. I will hold the pan for this. see you know the I've had to move the, um, the summit skillet around a little bit so it does cook on the on the edge um, it's ten times better than my OEX fries to frying pan um, but then again you know that would cost 12 pounds and this cost 50 quid um, one thing I will say though there's zero sign of, uh, of sticking which which is really good um, I don't particularly like washing them, so uh, that's good. Let's have a let's uh, see if I can see if I can have a go at flipping this over. Tiny, tiny little uh, turn of this. Let's get there. Let's try and do it. Yeah, that's all right. Perfect. Bacon's crisping up nicely now. Getting properly hungry. I can't wait to. Can't wait to have a go on this. Right, 
Right, right, all done now, ready to plate up. I'm gonna get this uh, egg out, let's see if it sticks, if it's all right. All right, that's perfect. Nice, nice crispy bacon there. Okay, as you can see, that is pretty damn good. Um, to be honest, what I'm going to do, be rude not to, stick my uh, bit of bread in there and just soak up all, the, all those really nice tasting fats. I'll be, I'll be uh, walking them off anyway. Yeah, let's do that. Right, get this out. Let's turn this off now. Okay, fully off. Oh, I've got a nice little bit of fried bread there as well, actually. Just the trick. Right, so we're happy with that. No stick whatsoever. The bottom of the pan still looks like new. It's great. Right, right well, that lasted five seconds. Um, final review on the Jet Ball Summer Skillet. Ceramic coating, I'd have to give that a 10 out of 10. Absolutely no sign of uh, sticking whatsoever. The bottom of it with heat dissipation is supposed to heat right to the corners. I'm totally honest, I did have to move the pan about a bit. Um, so I can't give it for full marks for that. Weight, obviously we know it's a little bit heavier, but it's a completely different product with much thicker wool and a proper base too. Um, but in summary, for camping cookware, that's probably as good as you're gonna get. Um, if you know of anything that's better than this, stick it in the comments below, because I'll be really interested to see. Um, but yeah, for sort of value for money, it, it's okay, I'd say, it's okay. If you, if you just really, really want a non-stick pan, this is the one, without a doubt, this is the one. Um, so yeah, check out my other reviews. Um, I've got the unboxing of the Minimo, the unboxing of the Summer Skillet, um, and also testing up Minimo, although you saw today. Um, but I talked about it in more detail. Um, but yeah, can't wait to uh, give these a go out on the mountain. Just need lockdown to end. So yeah, check out my other reviews. Please subscribe and I'll see you soon.